Today we'll be discussing Amy Poehler's novel debut, Yes Please. I'd like to preface by saying that when it comes to Amy Poehler, I personally have had a raging lady chub for a good long while. From Ass Cat to SNL to Mean Girls to Parks and Rec, this woman has been my jam and inspiration for badassery well nigh going on 10 years now. And now this, this brilliant piece of wisdom and comedy, even the title itself is good advice. Seth Meyers, who wrote a chapter in the book, reveals that yes please is something that Amy is known for saying all the time. Even though in improv, it's usually more of a yes and situation. I like yes please even better because it's a great reminder that being polite pays off. Sometimes it definitely seems like the assholes are the ones who are getting ahead in life, so you naturally draw the conclusion that me, plus being a dick, equals success. However, this equation is horse and serves no one and nothing. Great projects and advancements are born of encouragement, inclusion, and respect. And sweet ass dance moves. Bass line. Bass line. Birch line. Birch line. Birch line. Birch line. There was one thing I wasn't super stoked on throughout the book, and that was the constant reminder that writing a book is hard. I don't think anyone thinks that writing a book is easy. I spent most of my adult life waiting for the Song of Ice and Fire series to come out, book by book. Before that, Harry Potter was a lesson in patience for an author because dope ass takes time. She wasn't giving her readers the benefit of the doubt that yeah, we know it's hard to write a book. That's why the majority of us have not. Mine would be called An Observational History of Farts. And it would cover famous farts throughout history. Like when John Hancock just let one rip at the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Or when Amy Poehler immortalized farts with her character Amber, the one-legged hypoglycemic on SNL, who did indeed fart and just wanted to know if you were in fact jealous. I not was. They say write what you're passionate about, you know? So, farts. I love comedic memoirs, but... They almost feel like my guilty pleasure reading because there's no hard work involved. Most comedic memoirs, or memoirs of comedians, I should say, run along very similar timelines. This is my life, some shit went down, it turned out pretty damn good, and life be crazy, right? If you read one, you pretty much know what you're going to get with the other, so the thrill lies in being personally invested in the story and successes of this particular person because their work has affected you. It's like being spoon-fed rainbows. Vicodin. Everything is happy and blurry around the edges. My point is, unlike Vicodin or UV poisoning from eating rainbows, reading Yes Please made me happy and probably extended my life by at least a few minutes. Amy Poehler is a beacon of human positivity and a fierce badass. I want her to be my mom and my best friend and my little sister and my life coach and the sex guest in my midlife crisis induced threesome. Hopes for a follow up? Yes please. So watch an episode of Amy Poehler improving her balls off in Ass Cat. Click the box on the left. Click the box on the right to check out what the flush with Zach, where he discusses space balls. The balls. The balls in space. I'm in space. Subscribe. I'll kill your family. I'll kill them all.